It's an imperfect 10, but I do love my love of different sizes of Lego bricks. Or at least I love my bastardization of old song lyrics nobody's going to have recognised. That one will leave you puzzled for the next few minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to be puzzled about whatever the chocolate of the day is supposed to be. I know I'm not saying a lot about these. The problem is, they're not bad and revolting enough to really have anything funny to say about them, and they're not good enough to have anything interesting to say about them. They are chocolates that are there. It's, they are the chocolate of indifference. The only thing that makes me unindifferent about them, apart from having had this one before, the only thing that makes me unindifferent about them is they are not the chocolates of the cheap. They are the chocolates of the expensive. I thought I will go for the fancy things this year. That's going to be, and it isn't. See, whatever I thought it was going to be, it isn't. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is the Danska Vodka Citrus, which doesn't taste of citrus or vodka or Danska. I don't actually, must admit, I don't know what Danska tastes like. I'm not a cannibal. Well, usually. Needs must and all that. And when all the stuff inside, you can turn into a coal shovel with your teeth. And you can crunch away. Well, you look for the which is up there, which the camera can't see! Which the camera can't see! Oh, not them. Do I have a love of different sizes of bricks? Or do I have a collection of small, weirdly pointy ones? Bugger, it's the latter. What do you get if you take a space bull, decapitate him, take his head, shove handlebars up the back of it, put a snowball gun on his forehead and keep him forever alive so he can see and feel and hear everything that's going on, but no longer have a body to just gamble through the dunes of to-doing with anymore, as he watches all the carnage caused by his head gun. You get that. Which is kind of terrifying. 